Hi, it is very important to know where to get documentation from. Perl has a lot of documentation that comes with the installation, but uh, many people will, would prefer uh, using the documentation that's online. So if you visit this website, perldoc.perl.org, let's open it in the browser, uh, you can get, we can read all the documentation of the most up-to-date version, uh, most of the most recent version of uh, Perl. You can also switch actually to uh, an older version if that's what you want. Here, while well, the browser is a little small in the screen now, on the right hand side you have a search place where you can say, let's say, there's a split keyword uh, that we haven't learned yet, but uh, if you type in then you, can f you, will, you will get the documentation of uh, the split keyword. There are also various tutorials here that you might want to read. Uh, and uh, that's the basically the old documentation that Perl has. Though Perl has, what you have here is uh, documentation of Perl, the language, and the standard extensions that come with Perl. A huge part of Perl is, of course, not here. It's what's on CPAN, and uh, we'll talk about it later. But if you're looking for stuff that's in the in the language itself, then that's in this uh, website. And the same documentation you can also read on the command line. And uh, let's switch to the command line now. Here, if you type Perl doc, Perl, then you will see the documentation of, uh, of Perl itself. At first, you'll see what kind of command line options it can get. But more interestingly, here you see all the chapters that uh, you can read in the documentation. So you can. Uh, press enter and then uh, go through this or space and then page through. This is the standard manual reader of uh, Unix. On Windows you can do the same but it's uh, not that powerful, the, the reader itself, so it's less not that, not that nice. Anyway, if you want to quit then you just pr uh, press Q and then you can type in one of the uh, uh, chapters, the name of the chapters, for example Perl doc, Perl sin. Well, describe you the syntax of Perl and then you can with uh, space go through all these examples. And that's basically how you read the documentation. Or if you want to read the documentation of a specific function, you can type in Perl doc minus F and the name of the function, for example print that we checked, and here you can find the documentation. And the documentation also comes with a set of frequently asked questions, so if, you, for example, you are lo looking for some information about sorting, then you can type in, I'll show you again, Perl minus Q sort, and it will look through all the questions in the Perl frequently asked questions and show you the question and then the explanation, so you can see several examples here. That's it about the documentation of Perl.